What is absolutely popping, my lollipops? It's your girl, Lola Wola, and I'm back with another message. Please make sure you guys take this message back to the Lord Most High in prayer. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you so much for your presence here. Thank you so much for the grace, Lord, to be able to pass this message on to your people, oh Lord, oh God. Father, forgive us, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. Any way we've fallen short of your glory in our deeds, in our words, in our thoughts, in our actions, oh God, have mercy. Father, help us, Lord, to try harder to avoid the things of this world in the name of Jesus. Help us to follow you in all our ways, in all our, in all our thoughts, in all our desires, oh God. Help us to lean on you. Lord, there's nobody like you, oh God nobody like him in Jesus mighty name father anything that will hinder these this message or this prayer from getting to your people Holy Spirit I pray that Lord you break them in the mighty name of Jesus have mercy father have mercy have mercy oh God <sighs> all right y'all this message it's so beautiful. It's just, you gotta take it back to God. Like, you have to take it back to God. Stay away from the world. Stay away from sin. This is easier said than done, especially he's having me talk to our younger ones from the young adults and younger singles and younger stay away from the world stay away from sin these things are going to come in your face and it's going to tempt you it's going to tempt you and you have to stay away from fornication from adultery from any fleshly lust you need to stay away from it you need to stay away from it you need to stay away from it ask god for help holy spirit help me Holy Spirit, help me. He's talking to, my, to the younger ones. He's talking to the younger ones. He's asking that you stay away from these things because you have been set apart. And you're going to see a lot of, a lot of you guys are in school still. You're going to see a lot of your classmates. Um, <clears throat> these are people of the world. Not all of them, but you got to know, have discernment. Who are your friends? Who you're supposed to be around? who you're keeping around you, who's your circle, who's not. God wants you to pay attention. God wants you to stay away from the world, from sin. A lot of you guys, God, you encountered Jesus at a young age. So for you, um, God has given you a special grace and another level of anointing, and he's telling you to stay away. For the singles, he's telling you that at the end of the day, don't push your wedding further away. Don't push your wedding further away. Every time you fall for this trick of the enemy, you're pushing away instead of staying away. You need to stay away so you don't push away. Fleshly lust. I said it in a, a, a video in the past. This thing... This spirit, it's a marine spirit. Ooh, in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going around rampant. It's going around rampant and you need to be in the spirit at all times. You need to be in the spirit at all times and do not ignore God's warning signs. Do not ignore God's warning signs because even when you are about to make that decision, God's going to warn you. And he's telling me to tell you, don't ignore that warning sign. The Bible tells us to love not the world. Okay? God wants us to love not the world. When you attach yourself to the things of this world... It can strip you, exposing you to things 
you were not exposed to before. Stop attaching yourself to things of this world. When somebody shows you who they are, tells you their character, tells you about themselves, discernment, discern and flee. Discern and flee. <clears throat> we cannot put our feelings ahead of our mind thinking and what God plans for us. You know, you got to put God first. And if you discuss with God, he'll automatically tell you those answers. He'll automatically tell you those answers. A lot of us walk ourselves into the sin. A lot of us walk ourselves into the sin. Like you see it coming and you still walk yourself into it. It says right here, know what is right to be associated with. Be in association, right? With people who pressure you to do the right thing. People who pressure you to do what is of God not demonic things you need to know who you are being around so that way the influence I, I'm seeing oh I don't want to discuss it because some baby Christians are going to run to things that it's not so we're just going to leave it there and just say that the Holy Spirit is here at this very moment in time he is here and right now, Lord, we just want to take a, t a minute to just ask for your mercy, oh God. We're so filthy. We're so filthy. Lord, we need you, oh God. Have mercy on us, oh God. Have mercy on us, oh God. We are so filthy. Holy Spirit, have mercy on us, oh God. Have mercy on us, oh God. Father, we need your mercy. Heavenly Father, we need your mercy. Pour your mercy out, oh God. Pour your mercy out, oh God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Glory be to your holy name. Amen. What is right to be associated with? Be in association with people who pressure you to do the right thing. That is speaking to me hard and heavy right now. A lot of us are going to be making new friends in this school year. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of new co-workers. So these are new spirits that you're hanging around. And you don't know if these spirits are of God or if, there are, if they are spirits that you should be following, hanging around you know, discussing with, but God wants you to know today that you need to know what is right to be associated, who is right to be associated, associated with, what is right to be associated with. Genesis 3 verse 7 speaks on this. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9 speaks on this. And Proverbs chapter 31 verse 4 also speaks on this. There are benefits. <clears throat> You will undergo transformation when you are able to separate yourself from these things, from these people, from this sin, from this desire, from this temptation. When you are able to separate yourself from that thing, which you struggle with the most, right? Because golden hour is eating right now, is it not? <laughs> um, when you're able to separate yourself from those things, you will undergo a transformation. God is so ready to transform you. That's the thing. But a lot of y'all, we're setting ourselves back. God forbid, right? And we cancel all the plans of the enemy. We cancel all the plans of the enemy to set us back, to cause us to go backwards. Forward ever, Lord. Backwards never, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, have your way. Help us, oh God. In every way, in every aspect of our life, Father, we need your help. You will undergo transformation. You will be transformed into the image of God. The image of God is our desire, God. We want to be like you. Father, we want to look like you. Father, we want to be holy. 
Help us to be holy. Help us to be holy, Lord. Father, we want to be holy with you, oh God. It says to be separate. Separated unto God. You will be an honorable, useful vessel in the name of Jesus. Father, help us, Lord, to be an honorable, useful vessel for your kingdom, oh God. God will undergo purification on your behalf. He will undergo purification on your behalf. He will ask, you gotta, you gotta separate yourself unto God. And I'm also talking to myself, y'all. All these messages be for me. All these messages be for me too. Not all of them. I don't know about that. Yeah, not all of them. But a lot of these messages be for me too. And I can, I can feel the Holy Spirit here right now speaking regarding this message, even upon my life. When you separate yourself unto God, there are about to be a lot of new people in your face, a lot of new souls and spirits and vibes and energy circulating around your place of work. Now that summer's over, you're at school now. You have classmates, you have teachers, energy, 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 just transferring throughout the old day with everybody believing in their own different things and all these different demonic spirits lurking around, lurking around, just being around, just dry there. God wants us to separate ourselves unto God. Put him first. War those demons. Get into warfare. Wake up. Get into that secret place. What are you doing? It's too dangerous to be on the fence. Too dangerous. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Father, help us to avoid being on the fence. Help us to choose you wholeheartedly. I pray for you. Everybody under the sound of my voice, you are covered in the blood of Jesus. No weapon, no plan, no discussion of the enemy, no gathering of the enemy will prosper over your life. You will not go backwards. He's been repeat. He had this message on repeat. We just talked about backwardness. We just talked about this. Somebody is struggling out there. Whoever you are, God is telling you today, he loves you so much that he's sending another warning your way. He's saying, baby, it's so dangerous to be on that fence. He's saying, baby, come into my arms. Let me help you. Let me help you. Hold on to me and actually listen to my voice because this cannot just go one way, honey. I can't just, it can't go one way. You also have to want it. Do you want to walk with me? Do you want to talk with me? Or are you really truly on the fence that you can go pick your daddy? Okay, cause his home is hot. Oh, y'all thought summer in Houston, Texas was hot? No, his home is hot. Go. Because if you're still on the fence, after all God has done for you, be so for real. But you gotta want it too. And that's what it is. You gotta also want it too. And if you don't want it, then truly, really, you're not gonna fully obey him. It's gonna come to the point where the obedience is here and you're just not obeying. You pass, you, you, you ignore what he's telling. He's telling you, no, don't go here. And you're mm, going, you're going, you're going. You let the flesh win again and again and again. Stop, stop. Do you want it? Do you want to walk with God? I'm looking at you, you, yes, you. Do you want to walk with God? Is that a desire of yours? Is that something you want? Because if it is, if it is, Act like it, walk like it, talk like it, behave like it, live like it. God bless you all as you obey. Any details about reaching out to me is all in the description box below. My other content and information is all in the description box. Other platforms, description box, description box, description box. Read the description box. <laughs> um, help us out. Subscribe if you're not already. If you're new to this channel, hi. I'm Lola Wola. It's great to have you. Um, 
Become a lollipop today. We are mobbing on the narrow path of righteousness into the heavenly gates. That is the goal. That is the goal. And God who started the work in us will complete it in the name of Jesus. We ask for full completion over our bodies, mind, and soul in the name of Jesus, Lord. Complete what you started in us, oh God. Thumbs up this video if you agree. Thumbs up this video. Type amen. Let me know if this correlates with you. Are you in a new workplace or in the same workplace as you were before are you now just starting up school and now you have a whole lot of different energy around you let's discuss in the comment section what are you dealing with so we can know what to pray about leave your prayer points in the comment section you guys god bless you remember to inhale exhale and rebuke hell in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen and amen